Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope you are not getting uh, bored of doing too many videos, but what we can do. <clears throat> Even though my voice is tired, but I think it's fun uh, to show, especially the Indonesian, how silly the cult of Islam. Uh, one of you, he sent me a video. <clears throat> Again, I apologize, my voice is tired. Uh, one of you, he sent me a video translated by Muslims and they translated to Indonesian language. And the video supposedly, I do not know what it says, uh, translated to the, you know, I use Google translation. It sounds like it's saying that Christian Prince being humiliated, as I see in Google translation, uh, debating a Muslim. <clears throat> and then uh, it says here that uh, uh, a Muslim, he asked Christian Prince to read the chapter Yusuf, uh, verse number 31 and Christian Prince he could not do it and I'm really grateful for this video because here we will show you how we can expose the lies of those who make the videos from their videos the funny is that the debate is long they cut only a few minutes of me talking and the rest is just the Muslims blah 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 but I will make you listen the because the talk is in English and I will show you the translation of the Muslims, or let us say, resembling the words which supposedly I said in their own language. And you will see right away how they lie. And actually, I encourage the Muslims by using their videos to leave Islam because this video proven to us that Islam and, and those who follow Islam are not honest. <clears throat> I will play the video, which is, this is like long, long time ago in Pal Talk. I, I go to Muslim rooms and they get scared and terrified right away when they see my name. So the guy, and you know, like in the room was snoring, people, they were sleeping. I entered the room right away, everybody became an admin. They saw Christian Prince in the room. Hey, Christian Prince, I accept any question from you if you can read for me this verse. After giving me a dot, you know, they can stop you, they can take the mic from you. So finally, I took the mic and I had to read the Quran, just a few words. And look what happened. Let us play it. Stop me. Okay. Point before I read the verse. Let me read the verse now. Please record me and be a man. Don't stop me. Okay. فلما سمعت بمكرهن أرسلت إليهن وأتدت لهن متكئا وآتت كل واحدة الله أكبر الله أكبر this man cannot read أرسلت إليها هن أرسلت إلى do you hear what he said he said I said أرسلت إليها هن Actually, they have it in the screen. Look at this. Do you see it? They have it in the screen in the, the Muslim when they like resemble the language. They, uh, uh, they resemble the words in Latin letters. Read carefully. And the guy, he just said, Arsalat ilayha hunna. That's what he said. He said, I said, Arsalat ilayha hunna, which means I said the letter ha twice. Let me let me highlight for you so you can read with me in case you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm actually really happy because this is will help the, the Indonesian people to see how deception work. Eli, he said, I said, ha, ha, and unna. But I did not say that. Listen again to the video, which is their video. I'm playing their video. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hold on. Record me and be a man. Don't stop me. Okay? فلما سمعت بمكرهن أرسلت إليهن وأتد أرسلت إليهن إليهن I did not say إليهن you can play it as much as, as much you watch. And not only that, just to show you how stupid they are, I'm reading it the correct way. This is their Islamic website, and you can click at the word and 
they will recite for you all the words I did read. فلما فلما سمعت سمعت بمكرهن بمكرهن أرسلت, أرسلت إليهن إليهن did you say it? <laughs> this is what I said. But look, in their first translation, oh, let's say, it's running to, he said, I said, read it again. I said, I did not say that. And by the way, I'm just, I'm, I, I wasn't going to answer, but as long as they are posting this and have 93,000 people watching, I said, this is a great opportunity to expose the scam. I mean, it's there. Just you can go to Islamic website and you click at the word, and you see this this verse here. They have you can click in this website. You can click at all the words you wish, and you can hear. Uh, the second you click in it, you can hear the sound. But do you see how low they are? I mean, don't you have a dignity? The word is there. It's even recorded. The Quran is here. I did not say Ilayha Hunna. I said Ilayhunna. What a shame. Falamma. Falamma. Samiat. Samiat. Bimakrihinna. Bimakrihinna. Arsalat. Arsalat. Ilayhinna. Ilayhinna. What had that? وأعتدت. سوري وات وات ذات. لهن. لهن. متكأ. متكأ. Here he is adding تنوين. In Arabic we add تنوين. متكأ متك متكأ. All of this, by the way, in the original Arabic, does not exist. All that the تشكيل does not exist. This is in the new Quran. They added those things to so to help you to read. فلما سمعت بمكرهن أرسلت إليهن وأتدت لهن. Etc. But in their video, they play with a translation, or let's say, resembling the the uh, the word in in the English uh, letters, and they fabricate. As you see, I did not say ilayhahunna. As you see in the front of you on the screen, and you can play, and you can go to this website, and you can. I click at the word as much as you want, and you will see how is the fraud. But the problem is not here. Not only that. Uh, then after he started laughing, which is laughing at himself, lying, and he gave me a dot, I cannot take the mic, and everybody's saying, he did read it right. And ask yourself the question, why did not pause the whole debate? Why you, why, you, why you quote from Christian Prince only two words? He cut me and he started laughing and calling me names. And he said, he did not read. I don't know how to read. <laughs> he can't read. He can't read. Arsalat ilayha hunna. I did not say ilayha hunna. Go play it. It's there. I did not say ilayha hunna. I did not repeat the letter ha twice. Liars. But look what happened. <laughs> Hello, Akbar. Hello. You are a clown, my friend. You are a clown with white hair and a big red nose. Yes, you, 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 and the big shoes and the the purple color outfit. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Did you see that room? Sure, we see it. Muslims, did he make a mistake in the Quran or not? Or is this Abu Musa Muslims, just making things up? Muslims, Type did, one if he made Muslims, did he make a mistake? He's voting the Muslims. I mean, and all the Muslims in the room, none of them speak Arabic. Muslim, did he? You idiot. It's very easy. They can go to the website. They can click at the word and they will see I did it right. And how in the world this guy is an Arabic Christian? He is reading for Muslims for years and years. Everybody, people see me reading Arabic in the front of them. How in the world you even come with the claim that this guy, he did not know how to read Arabic. I mean, this is the most silly, stupid ever. But because they are afraid, the Christian prince in the room, he will start debating us in something serious. Christian prince, I challenge you to read this verse. But look what happened. Just wait. A mistake. 
Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Mm. Look at that. You made a mistake. You don't know how to read, buddy. You don't know how to read. And look what happened now. Hold on. You will give me the mic. And these poor people are listening to you. These poor people are. If somebody do not know how to read, as he's claiming, that's mean people should not listen to him. That's mean who, who should listen to Muhammad? Look what happened when I said to him, well, isn't it your prophet do not know how to read? You claim I do not know how to read. <laughs> listening to you. What kind of credibility do you have? You don't know how to read. See? If you do not know You're how to read. You're illiterate, my friend. You are illiterate, my friend. Did he say that? You do not know how to read, and you are illiterate. And that will make you not a, not accredited to be listened to. That's what he said. So now he gave me the mic back. And you're talking about the Quran? Quran? CP, I am offering you in front of 190 people a lesson how to read the Quran. He's a fraud. He is a fraud. Potato and tomato. Potato and tomato <laughs> are ready. <laughs> you know exactly what I was saying to them. Potatoes and tomatoes. You don't let me take the mic. So he let me, you see, he made a challenge. I would, I, if you can't read this verse, he did not even let me read the three words of it. And he dot me and now with the monologue, like calling me names, fraud, etc. And I am the one who did read it right. And then he made a mistake. He gave me the mic again. For you, sir. And we have the recording. I would like you to finish the You see how he's playing potato, tomato, uh, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Yeah, I saw that move. <laughs> Come back up to the verse and finish it. And finish okay? it. Don't get angry. See how he's getting angry? Like, <laughs> khair, <laughs> inshallah. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, thank you, Room, for being respectful and very patient. Take the mic back. No problem. You know, if somebody you like, you know, you notice here they cut the they cut the they cut the they, 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 they made it editing. My answer, they cut it off. He said, "I no problem," and you can tell right away that this is not the same sentence. They cut off the video because this is what the Muslims do. If you are brave, just post the whole thing so people will laugh. All right. So what I said now? Let us say I am like your prophet, do not know how to read. Is that an excuse not to debate me? Simply, you are running away. Secondly, I was reading the verse. Why you redotted me and you did not record it all until I finish and make more mistakes? As if you claim, simply because you are alive. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, by the way, I'm not dotting him because he's calling me a liar. No, no way no will way. I dot anybody that causes me personal insult. No way. <laughs> okay. The reason why he's getting dotted is because he's lying. <laughs> he said, what is the problem if I don't know how to read? Your prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, did not read or write. That is a miracle that my prophet did not. Did you see the hypocrisy? A second ago, he said, if you do not know how to read, and how, uh, and, and that's mean you are not a credible to be listened to. That's mean you are a fraud. But if it's his a prophet, this is no problem. It's a miracle. It's a miracle not to know how to read. It's a miracle how not, it's not, it's a miracle if you do not know how to read. So if now, if I, if I type in the screen, the word donkey and the word Muhammad, and I say to him, Muhammad, which one is your name of them? Muhammad, he might point his name, his finger at the wrong one. And he is claiming that this is a miracle. But the second you were laughing, saying that the one who did not know how to read is a fraud. Nobody should listen to. Or maybe uh, people forgot. Let me go back in the uh, in the video so people can see. Did, did he say that? Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Did he make a mistake in the Quran or not? Or is this Abu Musa just making things up? Type one if he made a mistake. Type one. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Akbar. Look at that. You made a mistake. You don't know how to read, buddy. You don't know. You don't know how to read. Mm. 
And these poor people are listening to you. These poor people are listening to you. What kind of credibility do you have? Did you hear? You don't know how to read. You are not accredited by anyone if you do not know how to read. And those poor people listen to you. And look what he just did. Those idiots who made this video, they just insulted all the Indonesian because all the Indonesian do not even know how to read one word in the Quran. Isn't it what he's saying? That's mean all of you Indonesian, with my respect to you, I'm not, I'm not the one saying that. According to him, according to those Muslims who they are happy, supposedly, they are saying that anyone who do not know how to read, he is a fraud and he is a stupid. So which one is you? The stupid or the fraud? Choose one. How you follow a prophet and his book should not even be translated. It should be only in Arabic. You pray to Allah in Arabic in a language you don't understand. And the Muslim saying that we are the Arab and we do not know how to read the Quran. So how you read the Quran? If we are the Arab, we do not know how to read the Quran. By the way, this guy is not an Arab. He's an Egyptian. And I asked him to read the verse. He refused. <laughs> I said, okay, well, if I do not know how to read it, correct me, read it for us. He refused. But, and then, after all this drama, you know, just to escape, after he said to me, it's a miracle, I said to him, okay, how, how, is, how is then your prophet became a prophet? And he said, this is a miracle. Let us escape a little bit to go there. Thank potato, tomato, uh, potato. Where we stop here? Right. Here, inshallah. <laughs> <clears throat> thank you, uh, thank you, Rome, for being respectful and very patient. <laughs> Take the mic back. No problem. You know, if somebody you like, you know, let us say I am like your prophet, do not know how to read. Is that an excuse not to debate me? Simply, you are running away. Secondly, I was reading the verse. Why you redotted me and you did not record it all until I finish and make more mistakes? As long as I'm making mistakes, let the guy read and so you will have more mistakes, correct? Why you stop me? I just read the three words. I just read the three words. Why you stop me? And as long I am like your prophet, and you see, I was saying to him, "Why are you from debating me?" He will not debate me. He is just saying, "Read this verse." I you know, I will answer any question. Just read, but he will not debate me. Do you see who is the coward? Even there in their recording, I'm saying to him, "Why you are running away from debating me?" I am coming to their chat room. Say, "Hey, who want to debate me? I'm a Christian prince." <laughs> And I know they will give me a dot. I know they will not let me. Actually, we used to do it for fun. We used to go to the Muslim rooms, and right away the whole room is terrified. They don't know what to do. The room will be sleeping. Nobody is even there, and everybody became an admin. Admin means they can control the room. They can like here. They can dot you. They can throw you out, etc. So, in a second, the room have like 40, 50, 80, 90 admin. Admin, just admin. Admin, which means to control, and all the chat room have red dots. Nobody can even text except the Muslims. And in their recording, I am saying to him, "Why you are running away from debating me?" Somebody, you like, you know. Let us say I am like your prophet, do not know how to read. Is that an excuse not to debate me? Simply, you are running away. That's Secondly, true. I was reading the verse. Why you redotted me and you did not record it all until I finish and make more mistakes? As if you claim, simply because you are alive. Dot again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You took the mic. Uh, by the way, I'm not dotting him because he's calling me a liar. No. No way. No way. Well, I dot anybody that causes me personal insult. No, no way. This is not personal insult. <laughs> the reason why he's getting dotted is because he's lying. Really? He said, what is the problem if I don't know how to read? Your prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, did not read or write. That is a miracle that my prophet did not know how to read and write. It's a miracle. 
My friend, it's a miracle that your prophet, he said, if the women she have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Hmm? It's a miracle. I cannot do such a miracle. I mean, who can do such a miracle? Nobody. The prophet do not know how to write, how to read. And actually, I'm reading better than all of you together. And it's a very silly challenge from silly kids who they are afraid. They are terrified. They don't want to give me the mic. They are afraid so to go to something serious. Read for me. I challenge you to read. I challenge you to read. The message of Allah said, if the water of the women is thick and white, and the water of the women is thin and yellow, which of, whichever of them comes first, the child will be resembling the parents. <laughs> That's a miracle. That is a real miracle. That is a miracle, my friend. That's a miracle of an idiot. Do you see it? Or what about the Quran saying the sun set in the murky water and the poor Muslim they keep saying oh my, my brother uh, 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 you know it, it doesn't mean that Allah is not saying that Allah actually he is saying that uh, Alexander the Great or uh, the Quran he thought but it doesn't say that my friend even their prophet he said it clearly that the sun set in murky water here we go just to show you how they lie this is the miracle. A prophet is teaching us that the sun set in a spring of murky water. They lie to you, they say in the Quran. When the Quran says the sun set in murky water, it does not mean that. Allah is not saying that. It is the guy who thought the sun is going down in the ocean. First of all, there's no ocean. The Quran never mentioned the word ocean. The word is spring of water. And this is what your prophet is saying. He is confirming where it goes. This is a miracle. Do you see the miracle? So for those who they think they can humiliate a Christian prince, first of all, I don't mind being humiliated as long as I take Muhammad down with me. Humiliate me in your chat room. And you give, give me, the, the, the for those who do not know what red dot mean, it's mean they give you a dot, this is software, give you a dot, they take the mic from you, you cannot talk no more, which you can't even text. All right, like like here in YouTube, you can put you away. All right. Uh, so in your program, in your chat room, under your control, your prophet get humiliated by Christian prince, and you could not do anything about it. So those who made this video is helping us. And then he asked me another question. You see, this video is not really, I mean, they are covered. They don't dare to post the whole thing. Post the whole thing so we can laugh. So in the video here, after that, look what the, what the guy he said to me. And actually, this is why this is what the reason I, I said, let me make a video about it because it is good. It helped us. It helped the Christians, helped the Indonesian to see how they lie right in the front of their face. And in the same time, how stupid their logic. Listen carefully what he said after. Right, and came with his book, sir, that you don't know how to read. Uh, did uh, did do you guys get the verse here in John seven fifteen? And the Jews marvelled, saying, "How knoweth this man letters, having never learned?" Kois, kois, good, 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 good. That slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That slave, sallallahu alayhi Look like they are mixing things together. I mean, they're, 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 he was asking about John, and then they jumped to this. What is this? You know, it's just a kid video, but uh, still it, it's going to be very helpful. Just have patience. I apologize for playing it for you, but it is really good. You will see. He was sallam. That man that gave his all to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He put his head on the ground and worshipped him. Can you deny that, sir? You cannot deny that. He put his face on the floor and he worshipped him. Now come back up to the mic and finish the verse. I give you a chance to make face, to save the way you look. Come back up. 
when you give me a question from the Bible about Jesus and being learned, why you don't let me answer? Are you scared? And learn there is about the rabbis. Only rabbis are learned the book. So they are saying he is not a rabbi. So how he is answering? You see how dummy? How dummy? Dummy? <laughs> well, yes, you are very dummy. Let me show you from your books. You are a dummy like you're a prophet. Here we go. Who is the one is learned? Let us see what learned mean. Here we go. Uh, this is your prophet. You see, I'm, I, I, I said to them what I, I'm saying here now, but they cut the video, so. Coward. And actually, I will go back and I will show you more. The message of Allah used to stand up for a funeral until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jew, because not all the Jew are learned. <laughs> a learned is someone is very well versed. Someone he understand the scriptures, not mathematics, not not geography. And this is what the verse is saying. So he was asking me how Jesus is learned, which is school he went to. Just wait, hold on, listen, listen, because that will get will get more funny. Which is school he went to? Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, we haven't heard that word in a very, very long time. Uh, did the verse say, rabbis? Okay, yeah, let's go back to John seventeen seven fifteen. And the Jews marveled, saying, "How knoweth this man letters, having never learned?" Having never learned, wait, 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 does it say having never learned as rabbis learned? No. So where is he? Getting? Okay. And then he says, which school he went to? Okay, I will go with him. Guys, this is additional proof that Jesus is God because he did not go to school. He will ask me later. Which school Jesus he went to? Getting that from. I'm asking you a direct question. Did Jesus go to school? Has he ever been to school? Oh, please, Christians in the room. Did Jesus go to school? <laughs> he is saying to me that Jesus, he'll know how to read, how to write, but he never went to school. Is that against Jesus or this is a proof that Jesus is God? And let us get him busted, as I did in the video too, from the Quran. Isn't the Quran say that Jesus, he spoke in the cradle, you idiot? <laughs> did he go to school? <laughs> Which school, Jesus, he went to? According to you, Quran. In chapter 19, verse number 29, when the people they came to Mary and they accuse her of fornication and they are using a very bad language actually they are saying to her Wama kanat ummuki what bariya mean a whore imagine imagine the filthy language this is the, this is Allah speaking and then she pointed her finger to her child and saying to them talk to the one in the cradle he said, Jesus talking, did Jesus go to school? Who is the Muslim when I tell me when Jesus, he went to learn how to talk and not only how to talk, he speak as a prophet. And not only that, he is saying, peace be upon me the day I was born, the day I die and the day I shall be raised up. Which school Jesus he went to? If your Quran saying, you idiot, that Jesus from the first moment after birth, he is speaking as a prophet of God and he is learned. So do you see how stupid those who you are proud about them? 
Do you see how easy we get them busted? From your mouth, we spank Muhammad. As simple as that. Now, how many Indonesian they will copy this video and they will add subtitle? Give me one, please. And I want you to go there and tell them hello. Look what what, what a Christian prince he did to you. <laughs> so look what we learn from this video. Muhammad, he do not know, he never learned how to write, how to read. And Allah never taught him, even though he became a prophet supposedly at the age of 40. Jesus Christ, he is learned, and the Muslim, they are questioning which school they want to. He did not go to school. Who said he went to school? Who told you he went to school? He did not need to go to school. This is Jesus the Christ. He is the word of God, and the Quran confirmed that in chapter 4, 171. The word of God do not need to go to school, you idiot. This is why he is in the cradle in your book, speaking as a prophet. Do you see it? Jesus, he announced, according to the Quran, that he is a prophet after two seconds of his birth. Do you see it? So which school Jesus he went to to learn how to speak as a prophet? And why Jibreel did not come to him and squeeze him three times before he told him, I read. I cannot read. Jesus did not do that. Jesus did not do that. He did not cry like babies. Jesus, he said, I am a prophet in your book. And by the way, Jesus is a prophet and he is God in the same time because the only true prophet actually is God. All the prophecies of the prophet is coming from one source, which is God, which means the real prophet is God. It's God who tells us about the future, no one else. So Jesus the prophet is Jesus the God. And Jesus in the Quran, he never went to school. And this is a proven that your argument is silly, stupid, and you have a low IQ. And Muhammad, you just admitted that Muhammad, he do not know how to write, how to read, and you claim that this is a miracle. And he gave me a book which I cannot read. If this is the case, that means you Muslim cannot read it too. Because if the Arab cannot read the book, that means how, how the Indonesian will read it. We are the Arabic Christians. We are the best in Arabic. All the seven poetry in the great poetry of the history of Arabia is written by seven Arab Christians. Not a single Muslim. Seven Arab Christians. That is the truth. Number one hero for the Arab in their history is an person who is a Christian. His name is Antara. Christians, who are you? We are the one who made the Arab and the Arabic. Who is Muhammad? So as you see, my friend, those people, they are just a bunch of kids and they could not find, I mean, they are going crazy. How this guy, Christian Prince, is making a lot of Muslims leave Islam because in Pal Talk, when I was doing my program, it's the same as here. Like today, how many people left Islam in the last four, uh, 24 hours? We have today a person who called us, him and his family. There are five people who left Islam, correct? It's the previous video, just today. Actually, four hours ago. Five people left Islam today, and he called us, and he told us him and his wife and his children, they decide to leave Islam. Yesterday, we have another guy who called me to debate me, to challenge me, to prove me wrong. And at the end of the call, he left Islam. And that's why they are going crazy, how they can stop this guy. So Christian Prince, he go to their chat room. Christian Prince, they are scared, terrified. I challenge you, I will answer any question you want. Just read this verse for me. I mean, this is even silly. What is this read this verse for me? What does that mean? It is someone scared. He is trying to open a topic. As simple as that. I'm not going to keep the video for long. So the Indonesian who will translate this video, uh, they can make it short and they will not give them a hard time. But as you see, my friend, we have the amazing Jesus and they have the silly, stupid Muhammad. A prophet who do not, you know, he claimed 
You see, he claimed that Allah, he spoke to him. But he never heard Allah. He never. Did you ask yourself, okay, Jesus, this, this, this one, they call him Jesus in the Quran. When he received inspiration, shouldn't you ask this question? He's just a, he's a, it says here, baby. You see the babe? The baby? Okay. So when, when, he, when he received the inspiration, where is Jibreel? How come there's no Jibreel? There's no Jibreel. So why why Muhammad he the angel he came to him he squeezed him three times and still the edict Muhammad he didn't understand right <laughs> why Jesus did not need Jibreel to tell him hey uh, Isa you became a prophet hello let me squeeze you and how come in the whole Quran it doesn't say that Jesus he received the Bible by Jibreel. And one of the funny things, by the way, when the Quran says, or the Muslim, they say, nobody can make Quran like this Quran. But isn't it, this is what the Jews, they say? Guys, read carefully. The Jews, they say to her, oh, sister of Aaron, and this is a mistake in the Quran, the Quran saying that Mary is the sister of Aaron and the sister of Moses. Why? Because the stupid Muhammad he heard the Jews saying that Maryam or Aaron, he have a sister, her name is Maryam. And this is true. And this is why Muhammad, he think that Maryam, the mother of Jesus, is the daughter of Umran. The fact is Umran is the father of Maryam, which is the sister of Aaron and Moses. This is how stupid the Quran is. And this is what happened when you learn from illiterate idiot. So look. When they say nobody can make Quran, but isn't this what the Jews said? You guys, do you understand that idea? If this is what the Jews said, and this is what Mary said, and this is what Isa said, what is Allah's words? Who, who don't understand me? If I say nobody can make Quran, like the Quran of Allah, but it says here, that the Jews they say it, oh sister of Aaron. Is that is that Quran? Yes. Who said that? The Jews. So the Jews made Quran. Because Allah either now reporting what the Jews says or he making things up. <laughs> and who is talking here, Mary? And who is talking here, Isa? So where, where is the Quran of Allah? I thought nobody can make Quran of Allah. <laughs> And this is why when I used to go to their chat rooms, they got so terrified because it doesn't doesn't matter what they say. I got them busted. You see, even like in this video, they try supposedly to hey, you know, say Christian Prince, you do not know how to read. So I said, OK, so if I am like you're a prophet, I am not good. He says, <laughs> he said, this is a miracle. <laughs> I love you, Abdul. I don't know what I would do without you. I mean, you made my days. So, guys, download the video, and those who they are from Indonesia, add subtitle, share it around, and let all the Indonesian people laugh at this stupidity. They tried to fool you, my friend. Christian Prince, he did a lot, and they are so angry from him, and nobody can debate him. If this guy or any guy did dare, what did you ask yourself why they don't dare to come and debate me? Oh, call me anytime. Anytime I keep my Skype open when I am live, I don't keep open. I don't keep it open when I am not live because the purpose of the Skype is to share the conversation. So where are they? We keep saying scholar. We challenge the guy. His name Mimi Hijab. We challenge uh, the, all of them. Uh, they refuse to come. Zakir Naik, potato tomato, all of them. My friend, we are following the one. Who never go to school but yet according to your Quran he is a prophet in the first day the first second of his life he did not need Jibreel he did not need anyone for he himself is the Word of God which mean that Jesus the Christ is the walking talking living Word of God that is our Lord and you are following a person who says stupid things like the women, she have a sperm, and the sperm is coming from her reps.
that is God I mean are you serious women they have a sperm and their sperm and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone and this is why I was saying always you know after I started in the Quran I became so educated in the biology because I never thought that I thought always that testicles is where the sperm coming from but after I did read the Quran brother I learned that testicles of the men are like a Christmas light it's just for decoration true brother and the Quran confirmed that because the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone not from the testicles and women they have a sperm and women don't have a breast actually they have a breast testicles <laughs> And if you don't believe me, the Quran in front of you proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. And you are worried about Christian Prince. He read, did not read, which is absolutely false. Meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. What the heck? Gushing fluid, sexual gushing fluid. Coming from the ribs of the women. My friend, if you are married, I'm warning you, women are dangerous, especially from the location of their ribs. You better get umbrella if your wife take off her bra because she might have orgasm coming from her ribs. And who is proving that to us? God, his name is Allah and a prophet, his name is Muhammad. Ibrahim and Sittar, this is the proven scientifically that it is true. There is a gut in four textual fluid and it's coming from the breath of the women and actually it's coming from the top location of her breath. Like, what the heck? And now I know why Zach and Mike, when he talked, he spit all over. It looked like it's coming from his uh, ribs. <laughs> oh, and I like it when the Muslim, when the scholars of Islam, they say, meaning meaning like look at the meaning the back bone of the man and the rapes of the women and this is how the baby is made i mean this is this that's god god's talking that's it that's that's god this is true this is proven to be true and actually, according to scientific study, brother, they found that main testicles, they are used in the case of a flooding, like a balloon, you know? Yeah. They are not what make a sperm. No. It's coming from the backbone, from the back of your ass. There's a little bone. You see the, the last bone in your spine? This is the backbone, for those who don't know. There's a little, 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 little bone at the end of your back. According to Muhammad, this is where the sperm is coming from. And I am convinced. With this, I want to say thank you guys for being here. And a special request for those who they are from Indonesia, please translate. Put your uh, subtitle and let everybody laugh at this uh, comedy. And let all of them be sorry for such a video because they help us actually. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I forgot. I almost forgot, man. Because the, the verse he asked me to read, there's something wrong with it too. We did not talk about that. As long as we, we, we talk about this. You see, this verse, this verse, it's about the Egyptian who don't believe in Allah. Anyone notice with me what is stupid about it? Isn't it the Quran says that those Egyptians, they refuse to believe in Allah? And the Pharaoh, he refused to, to, to believe in Allah. So how the women of the pagan leader, who she is a pagan, and the people of Egypt are pagan, they are saying, uh, by the way, uh, that says here, that when this woman, they saw Yusuf, which is Joseph, he is so handsome. Like he is sexy and you know it. So they, when they see him, they, they are working their kitchen knives, they cut their hands, like, like, they, they, like they lose their mind. Like they start cutting their hands and no, they are not noticing. That's what the Quran is saying. And the wife of the leader of Egypt, she want to sleep with him. She is desperately, she want to sleep with him. And then they cut their hands and they say, 
Allah preserve us. <laughs> this is not a man. This is an angel. I thought those people don't believe in Allah and they don't believe in angels. They believe that Pharaoh is God. What the heck with this religion? Do you see the stupidity? The wife of the leader of the city who is a pagan, the people there are pagan, the, everybody, the only one is not pagan, there is the Israeli, the Jews. What Allah, what angels, what is that? So it doesn't matter, you Muslims, whatever you put your finger in the screen, in the whole Quran, I will get you busted. For Islam made by a fool, for the fool. Are you a fool? If you are, eh, join the club of Muhammad. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you all. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. And we will delete it soon as all the videos we do. So you can have it in your channel. Take care. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. And by his name, we are always victorious against deception. Take care.